Amar Zuluev. Chael Sonnen has a record of 18 wins, 8 losses, and 1 draw. He stands at 6 foot tall, weighs in at 185 pounds, fighting out of West Lynn, Oregon. Amar Zuluev has recorded 23 wins and 6 losses. He stands 5 foot 9, weighs in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Kalinin City, Russia. All right, so we're set to go. Referee Dan Marigliata calls the combatants in. We'll have this one underway momentarily. Amar Zuluev decked out in the camouflage trunks and in the black trunks. Chael Sonnen. We used to call him Sonnen. He was such a nice guy. He said, my name is Sonnen. Yeah, he didn't even correct this for three full seasons because he didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But he's not a nice guy in the ring and driving forward. That's a trademark of top-notch amateur wrestlers is that they drive forward, 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 constantly trying to finish a takedown. And what a commentary on the anti-takedown skills of Omar Suluev that he didn't end up on his back. The knee brace on the right knee of Sonnen. Sonnen tries to move forward, tries to take him down again. Good quickness on the feet of Suluev. Suliev wants to strike with him if he can. There's the high kick spinning around is uh, Sonnen. That's one thing we didn't expect from Sonnen is to see him throwing high kicks against Suluev. Suluev is a stand-up expert here, but it's obvious that Sonnen's been working his standing skills in preparation for this fight. Well, he said he doesn't want to try to box with him from the outside or strike from the outside, but he's doing exactly that as he goes with a left-hand lead. And that's the way the southpaw should fight the right-handed fighter to try and catch him on the chin. He shoots, tries to take him down, and a nice bit of a roll again by Suliev, who refuses to be taken down. He lifts him up, blasts him to the right side of the head. Referee Migliotti says, no, you can't hang on to the rope. Yeah, Suliev is just blatantly grabbing the ropes, hooking them again and again and again. The referee, Dan Migliotti, stepping in and warning Suliev, but this is going to be a huge disadvantage for uh, for Sonny. What it was is his feet. He was grabbing the ropes with his feet in the bottom, and the, and the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board stepped in there and said, hey, stop this right now. Let's get his feet out of there. Excellent heads-up officiating from the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board officials. I didn't even see that yet. Hey, remember, they brought modern uh, mixed martial arts to the forefront here. A great job by the commissioner, Larry Hazard. So they're right on top of it. His shale on top now goes to a bit of side control, but he's still in the uh, half guard, tried to get the side control. Now he's in the full guard. Let's see if Suliev can pull him close. And he does, so Shale can't get that hand free. Now he gets it free. Tries to work the chin. Watch this guy with a grounded bound. If he does get it free, left hand gets through. And you can see Chael has been accused of being something of a wet blanket, being inactive while controlling his opponent on the ground. He doesn't want that happening here because he knows he's going to get stood up. Furious ground and pound from Chael. You can tell that he's got his game plan firmly in play. Chael was trying to work the side control and immediately should have got the half guard on him. Chael's uh, trying to work the hands free to blast him if he can. Pushes him down with the left hand. Not quite. Can he get that right hand free? And he does get it free. But not quite enough to really blast Suliev. Suliev holding him tight. Now he's up. Watch him try and blast. There's the up kick. Bang! Right there. Just barely grazes the jaw. Chill right back on top of him again. This is more action we've seen out of Chill Sonnen than we've seen in an entire fight from him before. Before now, it's only really the Costa Rica Bodog fight fights where we've seen this kind of activity, and it's obvious that Chael is upping his game to match that of his competition. He does not want this fight getting back on the feet where Suluev is more comfortable. He wants to keep it down here and continue to deal out incredible ground and pound punishment. Now he moves back into the full mount. He's up on top of him. Can he keep his hands free? He's got him in the back. Bad idea to give up your back. That's right. He's got the hooks in. Suluev is in desperate trouble here. Sonnen working to get his arm across the throat. He has to tap up, Paul. I thought he tapped. No, he... It looked like a possible tap, no, but no. Didn't. No. Referee Dan Regliano right on top of the action. And it looks like Suluev has his chin down. He's keeping the airway clear. And for now, in desperate trouble, but still able to breathe. Possibly trying to find a way to extricate himself in this very precarious position. Well, as Paul said, he had the hooks in. I thought he had him, and he tapped back, but instead he, he was throwing his right hand back. I thought he was tapping up. You can see Chael putting his left hand, trying oh to God. put it on the back of his head, which will tighten the hold even further. But Suluev managing to drive his chin down and get out of the position, but Sonnen making him pay, going immediately to full mouth and throwing more punches. Gets the right hand off, but not a big blast this time. Chael gets the head in as is drawn in by Suluev. Now he has the hand free. Let's see if he can catch him on the shot. Suliev doing a pretty good job from the down position, tying him up, but he can't move to any sort of submission with that shoulder or arm. But Chael is staying 
So much of a scramble. He settles down now. Yeah, we see Chael trying to set up an Americana arm lock. This could be desperate trouble for Suluet. He's really going to have to make sure that that arm doesn't get torqued. If Sonnen manages to get that elbow lifted off the canvas and keep the hand pinned, it could torque it enough that he has to tap out. Well, he had him in a sort of choke hole. Now he's got that arm tied up. You see him moving position. Boy, he's in desperate trouble in Suluet right now. He's really putting the pressure on him. And now he shakes it free. How about that? Ten seconds. Good stuff. Only ten seconds left of the round. This has been a good round for Sonnen. Boy, is he control this round. And the bell ends an excellent first round. But she lost one point for holding the rope. I thought it was. Like I said, aside from his Costa Rica fights for Bulldog fight, we're not used to seeing this level of activity from Sonnen. He's been more of a tactical fighter in the past. This is a new level of aggression. This is a new Chael Sonnen. And he's fighting like a guy who cannot afford to lose this fight, as he earlier stated. Hey, Jeff, how about the scoring now? I thought he, uh, you know, at one stage that Sonnen was tapping, but he was actually throwing his right hand up back to hit him from the angle. It looked like a tap, but of course, we now know it wasn't. And then, of course, uh, he had him in a lot of trouble with that arm lock uh, later on in the round. Yeah, he, in the beginning of the round, he, he clearly grabbed the ropes. He, was, he threw his arms up in the air to say, I'm not grabbing him. His feet were caught underneath. There is a one-point deduction. I did score this a 10-8 round already. I'm not sure what the other judges have, but Chael Sonnen had two significant catches. That Americana, he didn't quite have the rear naked choke, but he did have that Americana locked out. 10-8 for Chael Sonnen, and I'm not sure if I should score that at 10-7 with that point deduction, but I will leave it at 10-8. Follows a win of a round of jail. Absolutely, I'm going to clarify one thing. Go Jeff, you referred to a catch. That is a submission that comes very, very close to finishing the fight. Yeah, I can definitely agree that there were two catches in favor of Chael Sonnen, but now Siluev coming right back at Sonnen with his striking skills. Oh, look at this. He almost had him in a choke, but look at how quick Sonnen was able to reverse around. He's in the guard, all right. Let's see if he can get his hands free. And if he gets that right hand, all left hand for you, you'll see him pound. There's a left hand. Cracks him on the jaw. Right hand right back. Another left hand to the side. This is a place where Suluev cannot afford to be. You see him closing his guard, trying to stall the action to stand up. But he doesn't have that luxury right now. Coming back from a very significant points deficit and also having gotten the worst of the ground and pound. Son is ferociously punishing him on the ground. Suluev, if he wants to have a glimmer of hope of winning this fight, he has to get out of there and get back to his feet. And both guys, a little bit of fatigue from all the work that they showed in the first round. And right back out in his tail, Jeff trying to get that left hand free. If he does, you'll see it rain down. Instead, it's the right. Bang! He nails him right on top of the chops with the left hand. Two of them. Now, a lot of fatigue factor. He's in the guard, but by golly, he's not able to control him with the guard at all. There's about three or four shots. Jail really chopping him up to the base. Often when you see a person who's in a position of Jail Sonnen, they'll be throwing ineffective shots just trying to pile up the points. But Sonnen, almost every strike is not only act accurate, but punishing. He is landing power shot after power shot. And I'm starting to wonder how much more this Sulu up could take. Or well, how much Marigliano will let him take. Chael right on top of it, trying to get that on. Watch him try to stand up and blast. There it goes! The left hand caught him to the right side of the cheek. Chael takes a deep breath. Another sort of light left hand. And Suliev just can't do anything in terms of trying to any type of submission movement. He's just trying to gain some sort of control. Watch him. Let's go with the right hand. Another right hand. Yeah, you saw Suliev putting his knees on Sonnen's chest and extending his body to create distance and keep himself out of punching range. But Sonnen simply peeling that knee away, leaning back down between Suliev's legs and landing shot after shot after shot. So far, an incredibly dominant round for Sonnen. There's air conditioning in this building here at the Sovereign Bank Arena here in Trenton, but it's hot inside under these lights. Well, know, these fighters are working hard. You hear Marigli out of the referee say, keep it going, guys. Yeah, Chael said, I am busy. I am keeping it going. Oh, thrown in trouble. Briefly. Yeah, great heads up by uh, by Chael Sonnen. That was a very slickly applied arm bar from guard by Suluev. Perhaps Chael was a little bit distracted by uh, being peeved at the referee. And I, I have to agree. You know, the referee cautioning him for being active. I don't see how he could be more active at this point. 
And there's the knees again, trying to create distance. Chael can't get to him. Turns him upside down, spinning away. And Suliev, Suliev tries to catch him with the legs and tries to kick him away, but can't. Chael right on top of him, moving to sort of a side control. No, he's got him in the half guard with his chest on top of the chest of Suliev. That's right, and you see from the side control position now, Chael working once again for that Americana arm lock, and he's got his arms figure forward, but once again, Suluev manages to pull his arm free. Now, Paul, would that be considered a catch? He sort of had him, but not really tight. You know what? I'm going to throw that over to Jeff Osborne because I can't think of any greater expert on that than him. Now, in my opinion, that submission has to be locked. He is in trouble from the punches. He's locked up. No defense. Oh, he can throw him to the road. He's going to stop him. It's all Experienced fighter in Chael Sonnen, but we are also seeing the genesis of a new Chael Sonnen. No more lay and pray, no more wet blanket. This is an aggressive fighter who truly wants to prove every time out that he deserves the distinction of being the first ever Pro Dog Fight Champion. And look at that cut on Suluev's face. That came toward the end. He's, he's cut pretty bad. Man, er, earlier in this round, there was a near cervical lock when uh, Amar Sulu had defended that takedown, almost completely cervical like that. That's quite painful. Then it was Chael Sonnen throwing the bombs, and Amar Sulu had tried a, a late transition into a knee bar, but it was thwarted by Chael Sonnen. In my opinion, this kid gets more exciting every time. I can't say anything but good things about Chaney, even though he's a Republican guy. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I'll, I'll, Chael, I'll take some heat on that. <laughs> I'll take the other side. <laughs> Great job by Chael. You know, there were times when he was fatigued, but he still was able to come back and rain down the terror with the right hand. Terrific stuff. All right, we're set to make this official, so let's go up to our very classy ring announcer and make it official, Don Andrews. Ladies and gentlemen,